Hey Tech Moms, this is a tutorial on assignment one of module two under the intro to Excel and Google Sheets module. In this assignment, we are going to be doing an analysis of the Tech Moms applicant data and coming up with a student demographic dashboard that will be used in the Tech Moms annual report. So looking at the README here under module two, assignment one, we can see that it's a hands-on project that will help tech moms analyze their applicant and student data in order to complete their nonprofit annual report. The overview is that the leadership team is preparing to release their 2024 tech moms annual report and annual reports are typically data driven. They are used to show donors what has been happening over the last year with their donor money, what tech moms has accomplished. So they're super, super important. And every year, Tech Moms reports on the updated numbers of the how many students came through the program, their new totals, and the demographics on the population that makes up Tech Moms students. So the leadership team shares a, a CSV file titled Tech Moms Applicant Data as of 8-29-2024. And they ask you to analyze the data and provide them insights into the updated student demographic numbers. So the deliverable at the end of this project will be a student demographic dashboard uh, built in the spreadsheet of your choice. So that's either gonna be Excel, if you're an Excel user, or Google Sheets. I don't have Excel on my machine, I'm a Mac person. And so I will be doing the um, explanation and tutorial in Google Sheets, but if you use Excel, if you have Excel, if you prefer Excel, use it. Uh, all of the things that I'll show you are transferable to Excel. Um, or if you want to use Google Sheets, you can follow along using Google Sheets. So let's get started. So first, we'll complete the following steps, getting to know our data. So step number one is we want to review the 2023 annual report from last year. That's going to be um, here in, let's see, right there uh, under assignment one. And we'll want to pay special attention to the student demographic sections. Then we will download the CSV file. And CSV stands for comma separated values. Um, actually, I just looked this up on ChatGPT because I couldn't remember. Uh, it's a file format used to store tabular data such as text and numbers in plain text form. Each line in the CSV represents a data record and consists of fields separated by commas. So if it was in a text editor, it would be separated by commas, but when it's in a spreadsheet, the commas turn into the rows. Um, and so this format is widely used because it's simple, easy to generate and read, and it's compatible with spreadsheet programs like Excel or Google Sheets. So if you have a CSV, you can open it in Excel or you can open it in Google Sheets. If you have a Google Sheet, you can download the data that's in a Google Sheet to Excel or CSV. So you'll see this around. And then going back here, we'll evaluate the columns to understand what data we're working with. And what I like to do when working with new data is create a data dictionary. So we'll do that together. Um, and we'll basically um, get to know the data and understand what each of the columns mean. Um, and then I also, at the beginning of an analysis, like to just start with um, opening up a questions tab. If there's something about the data that um, seems interesting or I don't understand, then I can go back to the person that gave me the data, the data owner, and say, hey, this column is has some weird values. Do you know why that is? Um, and so we'll create a questions tab. So we'll do that together. Okay, before we move on, let's go through the rest of the steps so we know what the end product will look like. Again, we're getting going to get to this deliverable of a student demographic dashboard built in the spreadsheet software of our choice. Step one is getting to know our data. Step two, we'll clean the data, take a look at it, do, do, delete any data that we don't need. Step three, we'll start analyzing the data, aka asking questions of how many total applicants are there or um, another question that's uh, interesting is how many total children um, does Tech Mom support? Uh, what are the number of children of the people that were applicants or people that were assigned a cohort? We'll get into that. 
We'll do that by using functions. And so we went over functions in uh, the beginning of module two using things like count, count if, sum, sum if. And then we can come up with additional questions of what else we might want to ask the data. Step four, call it fun with pivot tables. Pivot tables are my favorite way of using Excel or Google Sheets and summarizing data. Um, it's just drag and drop, um, so you don't have to kind of remember different formulas. Uh, and it just makes it really easy to kind of see trends over time by putting it into a pivot table. Or um, if you don't have time series data, if you're not doing something over time, you can use it just to aggregate, just summarize data um, by different uh, categories. And so we'll go over that. Step five, we'll create some charts and build a dashboard. Step six, we'll make it pretty. Um, a lot of dashboards out there in the Excel and Google Sheets world tend to be not so pretty. And so I think one thing that we can introduce, kind of set us apart as analysts, is making a dashboard aesthetic by using the brand colors of the companies that we're working with. In Tech Mom's example, using Tech Mom's brand colors, using Tech Mom's logo in the dashboard. And the last step is say ship it. Ship it means to get it out in the world. It, the analysis isn't done until it's shared. So we'll write an email to the leadership team. In this case, it'll be data at Tech Moms. And we'll share the dashboard that we created and some insights. And we're communicating with leadership or executive teams. We want to really be able to concisely summarize what it is that we learned from the data. And that's one of the most important things is being able to communicate insights with data. And then we can do a little happy dance because we did this first big project for our data analytics course. And then to show what the dashboard board will look like at the end, this will be the end result of this project is a dashboard using Tech Mom's font, Tech Mom's logo, um, brand colors, and uh, summarizing this data that then can be used in the annual report.